Hello everyone, so in this video we will learn how to automatically export Gumroad sales to Google Sheets. So imagine this, when a new sale is made in Gumroad, it will automatically send this data to Google Sheets. But the issue here is there is no direct connection between Gumroad and Google Sheets. So in cases like these, we have to bring an integration and automation software called as Public Connect that integrates Gumroad and Google Sheets. The best part here is, a person without any technical background can perform this integration easily. Now before I show you the steps, how about we begin with a real-time example. Okay, so this is my Gumroad product page and this is my Google Sheet. So the idea is that I'm going to make a dummy purchase, okay, and uh, we will see whether the details of that dummy purchase will be available in this Google Sheet or not. So this is the product called as Watch and this is the checkout page, okay. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click on buy this and we are going to make this purchase as a guy called as Thompson. Thompson123 at the rate gmail.com. Okay, so these are the details. Okay, let me just fix this and let me just straight away click on pay. Okay, so a payment has been made of $10 by a person called as Thompson with the email address thompson123 at the rate gmail.com and the payment is successful so let's have a look do we have the details of thompson in google sheet or not so let me just uh, refresh this google sheet okay so just give it one or two seconds okay so as you can see we do have the details of the transaction in google sheet so this is the email this is the cost of the product that is ten dollars this is the date or the time when this transaction happened and this is the product that is watch so you must be thinking how did i do it how did I manage to send the data from Gumroad to Google Sheets? So basically, as I mentioned earlier, we are using an integration and automation software called as Public Connect that integrates Gumroad and Google Sheets. Now, uh, before we begin, let me just give you a small perspective about the steps involved in integration. Okay, so this is how this integration will look like. First of all, we are going to integrate Gumroad to Public Connect with help of Webhook URL. So basically, you are going to get the Webhook URL from Public Connect and you are going to copy this webhook URL and paste it into Gumroad. After that, in the second step, you are going to collect the sales data from Gumroad in Public Connect. And this sales data will be automatically entered into Google Sheets using Public Connect by mapping. So after this integration has been done between Gumroad and Google Sheet, all you have to do is just sit back and relax. Because when a new sale is created in Gumroad, automatically that data will arrive in Google Sheets in real time. Okay, so to begin the process in the new tab, just type pabli.com, P-A-B-B-L-Y.com, pabli.com, press enter. Okay, so this is the website of pabli.com. All you have to do is just click on sign up for free. Here you can build your own account in just two minutes. In my case, I have already built an account. So if I click here, I will be directed to the app section of pabli. Here you will be bought to, here you actually have to select the connect just click on access now okay so at the top right corner you will find a button create workflow click this a dialog box appears in front of you it is asking you to give a name to this workflow i'm going to give it as gumroad to google sheets of course you can give any name according to your choice it's totally on you and let me just straight away click on create so when you click on create you will find two windows the trigger window as well as the action window so we want to send the data from Gumroad. So let's make the trigger app as Gumroad. Okay, that's pretty much obvious. Now we want to send the data when a new sale or a new transaction happen. So now in the trigger, how about we make it as new sale? Obvious. And uh, these are the details or basically the instruction to follow to integrate Gumroad to Pabli Connect. So let's begin the integration process. Okay, so obviously we have to uh, log into my Gumroad account. And then we have to go to the settings okay so this is my gumroad account and then me and then we have to go to uh, settings okay so in the settings we then have to go to the advanced tab okay so this is the advanced tab okay then what's next so we have to actually copy this webhook url okay so i have copied the webhook url and paste it into the pink field so this is the pink field and as you can see already a webhook url in my case has already been pasted so i'm just going to remove this in your case it's it might be empty okay so i'm just pasting the new webhook url which i've copied from here and pasted it here okay so what's next so we just have to now update account details so let me just scroll down 
and let me just click on update account details excellent so this means that we have integrated gumroad to public connect now what we are going to do here is we are going to make a dummy purchase so we have products okay so these are the products we have now i'm interested in this product watch so let me just click on watch okay now remember this uh, your settings should involve these things okay first of all call to action should be always buy this okay then we should have the setting something like allow customers to choose a quantity and publicly show the number of sales on your product page if uh, that's necessary just do it and uh, just click on save changes okay so let me just go back to the products and let me just uh, click on the checkout page okay now we are going to make a dummy transaction so let me just straight away click on buy this we are going to make a purchase of one product okay so yeah so let me just uh, add the details so this time a person called as uh, jenny56 at the rate gmail.com is making the purchase okay so let me just click on pay so the payment has been made by a person called as jenny56 at the rate gmail.com now in a matter of few seconds the purchase will be successful okay so as you can see the purchase is successful so let's have a look do we have the details of the purchase here so it is showing is still waiting for the data just give it one or two seconds in a matter of time it will the data will appear here okay so as you can see we do have the details here we have the product that is watch and then we have the email jenny56 at the rate gmail.com now there's interesting thing that i have to show you as you can see the price it is showing it as 1000 now if you remember just ignore the denomination the price uh, the product price was ten dollars but unfortunately it is now showing 1000 so we do have an extra addition of two zeros so we actually have to remove these two additional zero okay so we have to remove two additional zeros from this uh, price because our price was ten dollars but now it's showing it as one thousand so that is kind of wrong so what i'm going to do here is before we send this data to google sheet i'm just going to trim the amount so this is how you do it okay so this is the action window and here i'm just going to add api by pably Okay, API by Pably. Now the default action is get. You don't have to change it. Now you have to mention the endpoint URL. So what is the endpoint URL? So let me just paste this URL. All you have to do is just paste this URL here. So you're obviously thinking where do we get this URL? Okay, so this is the endpoint URL and you must be thinking where did I get this endpoint URL? In your case, I will add it in the description box. You just have to copy this and paste it right here. Okay, now coming to this part that is authentication, just click on set parameters, just mention this as amount and this is the value of the amount. If you remember, it is showing 1000 but we want $10. So we click here, we click here and we are going to map the price that is 1000. So when I click on save and send test request, it will definitely show a trimmed amount. In our case, the price that has to be trimmed is 1000 which has to be trimmed to $10 so yes we do have ten dollars excellent so now in the final step we are just going to send all this data to google sheet now before that let me create a google sheet okay the idea is that i'm going to teach you everything from scratch so uh, i'm just going to copy this okay email cost date and product these are the columns we have i'm just going to copy this because i'm too lazy to individually type all of that okay so let me just click on blank as i mentioned we are going to start from scratch okay teach you from scratch so let me just uh, paste this here first okay so we have the column email cost date and product okay so this is the name of the spreadsheet new gumroad data new gumroad data okay so let me just go to public connect and in the action window we are going to select the app as google sheets google sheets it is now in the action event how about we make it as add new row so now you have a default question why the action event is add new row well the answer is very simple we are going to fill these cells one by one so these are the adjacent cells that we are going to fill by one by one so when we fill all these cells a new row will be created that is why i have mentioned the action event as add new row simply just click on connect if we are going with a new connection just click on connect with google sheets Okay, so these are the series of uh, Gmail accounts I have and this particular Google Sheet that is new Gumroad data is present in this account. So I'm selecting this one. Now Public Connect wants access to my account. So before I click on continue, let me just remind you, 
Pabli Connect doesn't take any chances with your data. Your data is 100% safe and secure with us. So on the basis of that trust, let me just click on continue. Okay, so it is showing the authorization is successful. Brilliant. So by default, it is showing the select spreadsheet as screaming frog crawl data. It's a spreadsheet that is present in my Google Drive or my Gmail account. So these are technically all the spreadsheet that is present in my Google Drive or my Gmail account. Now I'm interested in this sheet that is new Gumroad data. Further, we had worked earlier with this sheet that is Gumroad. Okay, so as you can see, we do have this sheet also. Okay, that is uh, Gumroad. Now we are interested in this sheet that is new Gumroad data. So we have selected it. Now, as you can see, it is, has uh, only one sheet. Okay, so it will only show one sheet here because there is only one sheet. Okay. Now coming to the mapping part. So as you can see, we have email, cause, date and product. So all the columns that is present here is now being reflected as fields, email, cause, date and product. So let's start mapping. So we have the email. If you remember, the guy's name was uh, Jenny56. I think it's a girl. Okay, so we are just going to click here. We are just going to click here and we are going to map it. Easy, then we are going to click the cost. So if you remember the cost, this one is wrong, okay? Because this is 1000, but we had made purchase of $10. So we go to the second accordion and this is the price and we have mapped it. Then we have the date. Okay, so this is the date of the transaction or when this product was purchased, okay? So yeah, sale timestamp. So this is the one we want and the product was, I think, watch. Okay, so we have mapped all those details. Let me just click on save and send test request to send this data to this Google Sheet. Okay, so the response is a positive one and we have got the data. This is the email and then we have the date, we have the cost and the product. So the presence of this data indicates we have a successful integration between Gumroad and Google Sheet. Now before you leave, let me just explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell. So let me just minimize this action window and let me just minimize the trigger window. Oh, I'm sorry, this action window and also the trigger window. So overall, this is the whole process. First, you integrated Gumroad to Pabli Connect and then you have introduced ABI by Pabli. This is because uh, we have uh, two extra zeros along with the cost and we have to remove that two extra zeros. So technically, this action window involves trimming the amount. After that, you have introduced Google Sheets with Pabli Connect and you send all this data to Google Sheets. So now we have a perfect flow of data between Gumroad and Google Sheets. Excellent. Now, the interesting thing that I have to mention here is once you have created this workflow Gumroad to Google Sheets, all you have to do is just sit back and relax because whenever there is a new sale in Gumroad, automatically every time the data will be sent to this Google Sheet. Awesome, isn't it?